Meet Salvador and Julia Hernandez, immigrant farm workers. They traveled back and forth between Mexico and California with their kids each year, picking fruits and vegetables. To provide a more stable life for their children, they decided to settle in California, where their youngest son, Jose, was born. Despite not speaking English until he was 12 years old, Jose was dedicated to his schooling and loved math and engineering. And in 1972, when he was just 10 years old, he discovered what his future would be. As he sat in his living room, watching his black and white TV, he witnessed the Apollo 17 mission and saw the last man walk on the moon. It was in this moment he knew he would become an astronaut. After years of hard work, earning both an undergrad and a master's degree in engineering, he was hired at a federal research facility. Here, he created the first full-field digital mammography imaging system used to detect the first stages of breast cancer. With this revolutionary work, he gained the courage to submit his first application to NASA. He thought this would be his ticket to space, but instead, it was the beginning of his rejection. For the next 11 years, Jose received 11 rejection letters. For most, they would have lost hope and given up. But for Jose, this gave him the determination to work even harder. Because for him, he had only one dream, to go to space. Don't you give up now. And in 2009, Jose became one of just a few Latino astronauts in history. What's more is that he would launch an even greater journey than the moon. His nonprofit, Reaching for the Stars Foundation, encourages kids to find passion through science, technology, engineering, and math. Through a life filled with obstacles, Jose found his true purpose, not going to space, but helping kids blast off and make their dreams a reality.